Asia and the Pacific is the fastest growing region in the world. Yet every third person lives on about three dollars per day. And there's a vast infrastructure gap of at least 1.7 trillion dollars per year. Bringing a better life to those people by helping to build Asia and the Pacific has been at the core of ADB's work for more than 50 years. My name is Nita Pokhrel. I am the Chief of Water Sector Group at the Asian Development Bank. Asia and the Pacific, our region, is also home to 42% of the global population that does not have access to improved water. And 63% of global population that does not have access to basic sanitation. The Asian Development Bank is a multilateral development bank that envisions a prosperous, inclusive, resilient, and sustainable Asia and the Pacific, while sustaining its efforts to eradicate extreme poverty in the region. ADB assists its developing member countries and partners by providing loans, technical assistance, grants, and equity investments to promote social and economic development. ADB currently has 68 member countries, including Australia which is our fifth largest shareholder. ADB is unique among multilateral development banks because we have a specific provision in our charter which gives special consideration to smaller, less developed countries like those in the Pacific. ADB's lending in the water sector accounted for almost 15% of our total lending operations in 2021, equivalent to around 26.4 billion US dollars. Australia has been and is a key partner to ADB. In 2015, ADB Water partnered with the Australian Water Partnership, or AWP. With one million Australian dollars annual funding support from AWP, ADB Water was able to implement capacity building programs, technical collaboration and demonstration activities, advisory services and knowledge sharing activities, and joint research, preparation and production of knowledge products and water resources management. ADB also developed our Water Operators Partnerships Initiative in Asia, a water utility twinning program designed to promote knowledge sharing and build the capacity of water utilities. The program brings together an experienced efficient utility known as the mentor and a utility needing help to improve its services known as the recipient. From 2017 until 2019, we implemented a utility twinning partnership with the Kathmandu Valley Water Utility and two Australian utilities, Logan City Council and Hunter Water, through the Water Services Association of Australia. Focusing on asset management, the results were exemplary and culminated in the preparation of a strategic asset management plan and an asset management improvement plan to drive activities beyond the partnership. Resilience to future crisis depends on actions taken now. Water is the primary medium through which we feel the impacts of climate change. The role of water sector in adapting to climate change is extremely important. Therefore, we must lead with this realization in mind and deepen our efforts towards mainstreaming water resilience or resilience in all our policies our water and sanitation services and investments. ADB is deeply committed to continuing our support to our developing member countries in this recovery so we can realize the new normal for a resilient, inclusive and equitable poor sector in our region. Under ADB's new water sector directional guides, our priorities for the water sector will be on bridging the financing gap, building climate change resilience, promoting inclusiveness and gender equality, supporting circular economy, and fostering innovation and di digitization. We've done great work over the past seven years with the Australian Water Partnership, and we at ADB Water look forward to continuing our collaboration.